Not the final floor, although that thing in the background, that white circle, is weird to me. Oh, this is gonna, something I was going to say. Wist, the Wistful Wild, which I guess this new area reminds me of, the Giant's Hearth, is unlocked in the very in the an identical way to how it is unlocked in this game. I don't have Ice Pikmin for that. Do I go against the grain? Uh, nah. I'll go this way. It's unlocked in an identical fashion to how it is in this game. And... Good job, guys. And it's it's notable and kind of famous for its massive spike in difficulty. I mean, you have caves that are 13, 15 floors long, with not halfway, uh, halfway rest floors, but, like, quarterway rest floors. It's actually insane how hard the game spikes in difficulty. And I'm expecting that here. I'm fully expecting this to be the hardest Pikmin 4 has gotten, but like in a a culture shock way, not just a, oh, the, of course it's the newest area, it's going to be more difficult. No, I'm, I'm expecting this game to start throwing hands more than it it has once yet. We've seen some traps, we've seen some goofy, unfair, quote-unquote things, but so far this game has been, actually been really easy. Oh, hi! A greater spotted jelly fo float. Although, they're not really spotted so much anymore. It's kind of sad. They're pretty, though. One of my favorite enemies. Though not for the reason... Like, they're, they're one of my favorite enemies because of how they are in... What am I doing? get them. Of how they are in, in Pikmin 2. Less so this game, because they make this really cool noise in in Pikmin 2. It's very peaceful. It's like kind of crying almost. I don't know necessarily what that does. We do have enough for this. You get on that. You guys get on that. And we're going to see. We're going to have you guys race. Will Will the pink Pikmin I guess, wait. Where did the pink Pikmin even go? Wait, did... I have that many whites? No, no, okay. They are going different way. We're gonna see. Who's faster? Pinks or whites in this in this case? I'm guessing... My money's on the pinks. And no, never mind. They're taking the both... They're both taking the same pass, path, even though the pinks could be taking a pretty broken path here. They could just be going back and forth. But they're choosing to do this. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna throw some Pikmin for Ochi. S switch over to him. And I should be able to make it against the green here. Yep. Uh, also, do the flying Pikmin ignore? I'm guessing they ignore the, the pathway. Yeah, they would. They would have to. So that's super useful. We're gonna we're gonna exploit that for sure. Uh, also, I forgot. I was gonna use this. I was gonna use this on this cave uh, down the pad because I wanted to flower all my Pikmin. It's less about the sp the spiciness and more about me flowering them all because I have a lot of a lot of leaf Pikmin now. Although maybe I should have waited for to farm these whites up ahead. Okay, deal with you. It looks like you have. Oh. Snap! I did it again! Oh, thank goodness they were pinks. Whew! That was close. You guys get on that, and yeah, ignore the the grain. Cool. Okay. And then we can get some whites. And conveniently, this is the cave progression, so... I think I can just, uh, every time. <laughs> it's a tradition. It's becoming a tradition. Every Pikmin I've lost in this cave so far, yes, it's been two, has been to the same stupidity. Okay, so they're working on that. I guess we just chill. Final sub-level. Okay. 
the boss of this of this cave is resting. If it's anything like Pic it was in Pikmin 2, I should be free to walk around as I wish. And destroy destroy these walls as I wish. But here's the thing. These walls are freestanding. The reason for that is because they're about to be they're about to serve as cover. That Pikmin almost died from its own stupidity. Oh, that's I'm gonna have to be mindful of that. The Pikmin don't know how to walk through here. That's not good. You guys deal with that. I need you as fast as you can possibly be. Huh. No, 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 no. Man. Do I separate the group? I don't think I can afford to. Okay. All right. <sighs> Need to be mindful of my surroundings here. In fact, I want to be between this. Because this is going to be partial cover. We don't have our C-stick to huddle them against cover. And I doubt they're smart enough. They're not smart enough to think that through. So they, the cover is not going to be terribly useful to them. Let's go. The man at legs, is it a machine? Is it... Oh, of course you start on that. He's gonna destroy this. <sighs> Hi, man at legs. Long time no see. I hate you. I need to have my... There's the gun. Yeah, he'll destroy this for sure. One more bout and it'll probably go down. In fact, I'm gonna start repositioning. And I'm only gonna use it if absolutely necessary. He looks a little bit to be a little bit more gun happy. Oh, this one's already partially destroyed. Oh boy. Shock him, I guess? I don't use my items much. I figure it's fitting that we we short circuit him a little bit. Get to cover, get to cover, go, 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 go. The Pikmin are gonna get stuck on the thing. But we're fine. We're still shooting. He's still shooting. He's still shooting. Stop shooting. Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Jump! I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I don't think he can hit me if I'm moving. I think we're good. Oh, that poor Bud Pikmin! He's not leading his shots. We're fine. Why is he shooting at his feet? Why did he shoot at his feet? That was weird. I need to be careful. And again, in, in Pikmin 4 tradition, I just kind of want to see what he's about, because he probably has some a little bit of a few new tricks up his sleeve. I love- Oh, it's- I jumped over the bullet! I jumped over the bullet! That was sick! Oh. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Get him, get him, get him. I, I'll stick around for this. You're not gonna shoot? Wow. Man at legs. Just as scary as he was before. Although before we had purple Pikmin in our squad, so it was a little bit scarier because they're slow. This time we could have no no such luxury. The Pikmin really don't know how to interact with these these environments. Like the pathing was not set properly for this floor. Very weird. It's almost like these bits of cover were added as an afterthought, or they're just I I don't know. It's it's very strange. Let's check the badge. Don Bergman from Kopai. An ex-ranger who followed rumors of treasure to this planet. He'll use the profits to help the starving back in his homeland. Oi. Huzzah, it's a Kobai castaway. Let's hope he has information regarding Nelly's whereabouts. Da-da. 
I can only imagine that one of the copites we're going to meet is from Pikmin 3. It isn't Ellie, but at least, at least she can help us find her. Let's see what we can learn after he wakes up. He also has a sick, nasty scar. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? Scars are cool. It implies a life of battle. How did I... Oh, that opened. Okay. I was gonna say, how did I miss that? Is this... Hold up. I was gonna say, is that not breakable? That... That stood for far longer than I thought it was going to. That is sick. That is sick. A wave bird! And it's still on... What channel is it on? Can you see? I can't see because it would have been on the bottom of the wheel. I love that. Fun fact about wave birds. At least with mine, uh, it's hit a weird point in its life. I, I grew up with two of these things. And it's hit a point in its half-life where I think the sticks on this thing were made slightly different than the sticks on normal GameCube controllers. Because some of my GameCube controllers, their sticks are fine. But wave birds specifically, like three or four years ago, their sticks, and mind you, I keep my controllers in perfect condition. I do not go through controllers. I've had a Switch since launch, and I don't have Joy-Con drift. Granted, I sold my Joy-Cons, but the ones I sold, the person I sold them to, also is just, only just running into Joy-Con drift with them. I take ridiculously good care of my controllers, but these things, they've hit like their half-life on the rubber, and so now they rot, and it's super sticky and gross. No matter how you clean it, it just feels like it's just sticky. I hate it. Waybirds were a good tr controller. If you get, get past the input lag and, you know, your knee blocking the reception. G <laughs> Why were they so late? <laughs> Sick! We only lost two Pikmin! And... I mean... We're not gonna talk about how they died. <laughs> da -da 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 -do. And we're probably gonna be at the countdown, but just in case we're not... I'm gonna take out some reds. Just reds and whites. Okay, I was gonna see if we could maybe go into that- that cave, but I- I don't think we can go into a cave while there's a countdown- Ooh, I could do this, though! That's something I can do in my- in my time. Do it- deal with this! Spin it! Maybe you did already, I think you did already. Hi, I'm gonna talk to you and then warp back to my ship. Hey, there's another one. Today, we dandori. Tomorrow, we dandori more. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. They've completely consumed... They're completely consumed by the art of dandori. We've got to free them. I can't go into this in countdown. I can? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. I agree. I thought I cheated the system. I'm not gonna kill that. I'm not even sure if it really gives me anything. Productive day. Really good day. Cave done. White Pikmin achieved. Yellow Pikmin killed. I'm happy with how today went. Uh, control scheme reconfigured. <laughs> yeah. Honestly? This, my, in, ter in terms of uh, aesthetic, I think this is my favorite area in the game. Also, I just realized I've completely forgotten to talk to Schnauz, so we're going to have to have a long talk with him. Sick. Lots of sparklium. All stats we just saw. 15% completion. I feel like we got a lot done, so for that only to have achieved 15%, that's a good sign for this area. How is that Copat doing? 
the one we just rescued. We deactivated the full sleep mode on his spacesuit. The doctor's with him now. Why do we even have forced sleep mode? Can I, can I be honest here? It's very strange. It almost seems like an intentional design flaw, if you ask me. Okay, then I'll save my questions about Nelly for tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>